Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show how to create some local users for your server. Uh, we'll create both a administrator and a non-administrator user and I'll show you the difference between those. So uh, let me go ahead and just connect up to our server A here that I've got running in the background. All right, and to do this we are going to go to computer management. So to get there just uh, go down to the start square and right click and then in the choices go ahead and pick computer management and then you'll see a bunch of choices come up. So we're gonna expand out this local users and groups here. Uh, so you can see it's got a couple folders. So users is where you go to create your user. Groups is where you're gonna to go to add that user to a certain group. So I'll go ahead and click on users and we'll create, a, we'll create both an admin and a non-admin user. So what you do is you highlight that users and you just right click over here in the square and say uh, new user. And then this new user box pops up. So I'll create a user for myself. I'll say Jason is my user. Um, full name is just me. Uh, description will say uh, admin account for Jason. Uh, and my password, I'll go ahead and set a password. And since this is for me, I'll take this must change password off. We'll do that for the next user. Uh, and we'll say my password never expires. And then there's the two buttons at the bottom. Just make sure you hit the create button here. And then you can close that out and you can see, boom, my, my account is up there, my JSON account. So let's go ahead and create one, a non-admin uh, user. So uh, we'll create another one, right click in that square and say new user. And we'll name this one, whatever, like Mike or something. And we'll say that's Mike. Uh, description is non-admin. And uh, we're his password, we'll set him a password. And this time we'll say uh, user must change the password at next login. So that way you can set up a temporary uh, password for a user, give it to him, and then they can set their own password when they do log in. So we'll create his account and close this. So like I said though, for uh, mine, we're gonna, we're gonna make an admin. So we wanna go over the groups here and you see this administrators group. So just double click on that administrators group there and you can see so far just the administrator account itself is in the administrators group. So we're gonna go ahead and add my account. So I'm gonna hit the add button here. And it says from, uh, from this location, who do you wanna look for? So we're looking for a user. So that's right uh, on this location, this is on my server. So I can just go ahead and start typing my name, Jason. I can say check here and it found it server, you know, a slash Jason is my account. I'll hit OK. And then you see I'm in the administrators group. I will apply that and then hit OK. So now that I have my users, we can go ahead and try them out and log in. So uh, let me go down to the start square here. I'll left click on that. And then you can go up there to the administrator, left click on that and say sign out. So I'm going to sign out of it. And now when I hit control alt delete on this here, control alt delete. So it's got my different choices of which users here. So let's go with Mike first. So I'm gonna pick Mike and I'll type in my password. And remember it should ask me to change this password now. So it says, yep, the user's password must be changed before signing in. I'll say, okay, uh, let me go ahead and set that up. Uh, so, uh, whoops, uh, not strong enough put in his old password and then the new password. All right, my password is now changed. So I'm logged in as Mike now. And remember, this is a non-admin account. So if you wanna see uh, what happens is I can do certain things on here, but I can't do all administrative functions. So. Uh, like if I decide to try to reboot the server, I can click the start square, go up to power, and it says, nope, uh, there are no power options available for Mike. So then I can go back down to like say the network. So I can, I can open this, I can go to the adapter, I can click, I can look at details because you can see there's no little uh, user access control admin prompt. So I can see these details, but if I go to hit the properties, it says, nope, uh, what's the administrator password or what's Jason's password? So, so let me just close out and then let me log in as Jason. I'll sign out of Mike. I'll log back in here and we'll go with Jason this time. And remember, Jason is an administrator user here. So uh, I'll see server manager. 
if I hit the start square and I hit power, it will allow me to shut down the computer. Same thing with the network. Um, if I go look at the adapter settings and I hit properties, it does go ahead and show me the properties. So that's it. That's how to create a local administrator and non-administrator user on your server. Thanks a lot.